Hello and welcome to my channel. Today I am sitting in front of Twin Rivers local vintage market here in Melbourne, Florida. It is one of those upscale decorative vintage malls. Um, today I'm really looking for inspiration on how to display things in my own booth and how to decorate it. And I'm going to do some shopping as well. Why don't you come along with me? Okay, let's go. Okay, so as you walk in, they are so friendly here. They greeted me with a big hello and a happy face. So I appreciated that. Um, I really like this booth right here. I found that this case right here, I just like how they do the shelves. I'm going to get a little closer look here. I like how they put the books in here and, and it's not loaded down. I have shelves in my booth. I could remember this and, and not um, load them up like I usually do. And I like how they did this. They have the big rectangle painting and then a round frame. These little card catalog things are really neat. Real nice. Look at this piece. That's a nice piece for like in a mudroom. Put your shoes in. Hang it on the wall. Have kids store their toys in. All kinds of uses. I really like this piece. We have um, one of these cabinets at home to do. and this We already bought the pin legs. But this is a really nice top. I can see Alan has a project in his future. And it is, how much? $280, that says. Mm, nice. That's a really nice hutch. I like how they painted that. They left some of the wood grain and ma really made a dated piece of furniture look newer. I also paint furniture, so that is a great idea for an old hutch. Here's a nice booth. I'm trying to walk around the store, try not to get people's conversations, and, and I'm trying to respect people's privacy. That's a beautiful gown. The lamp is nice too. Well, this is a, a black and red theme here. Oh, the lamp. Look at that. That is beautiful. I just like the way they have this barn look. Yeah, large basket. Wow, that's big. <laughs> oh, there's a plant booth here. Here in Florida, you have to have a special license to sell plants. I'm sure they have it. I think they look real. Let me touch. Yeah, they're real. Oh, I want to show you these paintings. That painting, look how beautiful that is. 
And then all this furniture is hand painted. They hang these Japanese lanterns from the ceiling. It's a nice idea. They have a hutch and they took out the glass and they put in this wire here. And then what they're able to do is hang photographs and stuff on it. I mean, I'm not going to have everything okay. there, so no, that but needs to stay for now. It's not a big deal. It doesn't. Um, I can text it to it you. Just needs to be moved your, back to your phone number. It's not a big deal at all. Here's a nice way to display maybe like handkerchiefs or towels or whatever. Screw on one of these on, on bar, a wood board and get these little clips. Every single booth in this store is beautiful. Here's another beautiful booth. I like this cart. They have it as a wine bar. Look at the size of this table. There's another large table with the benches. Looks like here they took an old hutch and they just took the top and they paired it with another table and it looks like it really belongs together. That's a great idea. There's so many clever people out there. I have to learn how to do this blending technique on the paint. I have to practice. That's a nice idea too. Hang things from a ladder. This peacock feather, that is painted on something different, like on string or something like that. Let me get a closer look. Straw, maybe. I really like the idea of having these cubbies on top of a table. That really um, takes the place of a bookcase or something that's just tacky looking. And then they have this old cupboard here.
Okay, well, that was a really nice store. Um, and the staff was very friendly. As soon as you walk in, they greet you, and, and it was just really nice. So um, I did get most of the store. I tried to film for you. There were people working in their booths, and there were customers in certain places talking, and I really try to be respectful to other people, and I, they don't, I don't have their permission to put them on YouTube, so I try not to get any conversations and stuff like that. So I will be back at another time, but now I have to go to work. So I will see you. Thank you for watching my channel and please like, comment and subscribe. I'll see you next time.